Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we'll be going over how to install the Traction audio workstation for Linux. Uh, we're on the website here, and you can go to traction.com. Also, all of the links are in my article below. But uh, just go to the website, click Get Yours Now, and it'll take you to the marketplace. From here, you need to sign up an account, and once you sign up the account, you can get to the download page. So I've created my new account and now you can see the download page and it has support for Mac and Windows as usual, but click the download button for the Linux installer. So something that I should tell you guys, and the reason I'm making this video on Ubuntu right now instead of my usual setup is just because T7 has Linux support, but only officially for Ubuntu. In my article that I wrote, I wrote how you can reverse engineer the Debian package and install it on Fedora 29, and in my testing, it actually does work. There's also an Arch Linux AUR package you can check out. So you can get it running on three different distributions, but officially, they only support it for Ubuntu. So to get the installation started, we can just download the package right here. Now, you can have it open up automatically with the software installer, or you can download the Debian package on its own and uh, do what I do and open up the terminal, go to downloads and then just do sudo dpkg-i traction, enter your password, install the package. And then just for safe measure, apt install f just to correct things if anything went wrong. And uh, then we can go and open up traction and here we go we have our stuff you have to agree to the license agreement but uh here we go it's running you click the unlock button and you enter your password and account information and then you're ready to go and make your own music there's a lot of different stuff that you can do and there's also the free trial mode now it's giving me a warning because i'm doing this on a virtual machine uh traction is designed for modern multi-core stuff I'm not going to design any audio in this virtual machine anytime soon, just a little instruction set for how you can get this running, but uh, definitely get a nice computer if you plan on producing audio with this. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.